Windows Server 2025 has some great security features. I'm going to get there by going into Settings. And after I'm in Settings, I can go to Privacy and Security. Then I'll click on Windows Security. I'm going to click on Open Windows Security so I can see it all on one pane. And here we see at the top, the home, you see the virus and threat protection. So this is not turned on which is really interesting. Now, it may be turned on in the manufactured version, but it's not turned on on this preview version. So I'll go ahead and turn that on, and I can see that it's all set up. And when I click on it, I can run a quick scan, or I can do a full scan, just like in the previous version. Now, ransomware protection is also not turned on, so I'll go ahead and turn that on. And that keeps your file shares from becoming uh, crypto with ransomware. And here you can choose which folders you'd like to protect. These folders are protected by default when it's turned on, but you can also click Add a Protected Folder. And you're going to browse to that location, choose the folder that you want. I'll choose the Users folder just as an example, or you could also choose to add new folders. I'm going to go back, go back again. Here you can see the virus and threat protection settings are on and up to date, so I don't have to worry about that. There are no current threats going on. The firewall and network. So the firewall is turned on by default, and this is a domain controller. But strangely enough, they still have the issue where the public network is the one that is turned on and active, even though it should be on the domain network. But you can go to the local group policy and make that change permanent there. I'll go ahead and show that in an upcoming video. Now we have app and browser control. Turn that one on. Once again, it's not on by default in the preview version. And here we have reputation-based protection settings. So once I enabled that, it turned all that on. And we can block any potentially unwanted apps. And it also turns on smart screen that helps by checking unrecognized applications, as well as something you might be downloading from the web in a browser. And I'll click on settings for device security. And here we have the memory integrity, which is going to protect us from insertions of malicious code. So I'll go ahead and turn that on, add that protection. Now, it does require that the server become restarted. So I'll go back, and then I'll go to protection history to view the latest protection actions, if there are any that are recommended. Now, you can also do one other thing protection-wise, and that is you can go into the server manager and I'll go ahead and run that. And inside Server Manager, it's a great idea to go to the local server and then scroll down to the Best Practices Analyzer. And what that does is it goes in and it makes sure that you've got all the best practices for different types of security that are properly set on your server. And if you don't have everything set correctly, it'll give you a list of things that you need to correct and it'll give you an idea on how to correct most of those. And here you can see that the file services role service is not installed. By default, that's an interesting new thing, is that on Windows Server 2025, at least in the preview version, the file services role is not installed by default. So you need to go into Add Roles and Features and install that. So that is a high-level view of the security features in Windows Server 2025.